lost like 10 pounds. I'm one heartbreak away from either or last of steroids. There's only one option. There's only one option, dude. I feel like, why not? Second place? No, yeah. let's just do this right here. Here, let's do So wait, is that first place? Yes. First place? Oh Second place? Right. Third. Because that's the lowest. You're the lowest. Uh, I'm the lowest. <laughs> Your back though, bro. Ooh, no, oh, not today. My back's hurt right now. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I can do it. I can do it though. Dude, I really, my back is so. If it gets worse, Ooh. I'm blaming you. It has no back. Your back is in it. What do you mean? No, it's not. It's your ankle mobility. It is in it. Ah, look, so, it's like good. this. Yeah, but your back yeah. is in this too. Oh, oh wait, why are you oh, killing me? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> she just sabotaged you. <laughs> My back! My back's broke! <laughs> Yes, I broke my back. I broke my back, dude. Spinal. I broke my back. Spinal. Hey, right remember my Tyson? Spinal. I broke my back. Spinal. Spinal. I broke my back. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? What? Why are you yelling? So listen, I broke my motherfucking back. I decided that I am tired of being a pussy. Okay? I'm tired of being a pussy. I lost 10 pounds in the last like four months, four or five months. I've been focused on other shit. I realized that I'm done focusing on other shit. All I'm gonna do is focus on the gym now. I'm not gonna focus on shit else. And by the gym, I don't mean the gym to open it because I'm done with that shit. As you can see, it's here. I'm only gonna focus on training again. I'm gonna be a dumb meathead again. Exactly. Full on Bradley Martin. What's going on, guys? Bradley Martin fucking just training. Not giving a fuck about anything else because I'm, I'm. This, I'm not gonna lie. This whole process was a little bit overwhelming. It's done now, so I just gotta be like, okay, can't keep like being stuck in the bullshit. Dude, maybe we should start a shred series. Getting shredded? I think I want to get bigger. Bigger, bigger harder, leaner, bigger, leaner. Bigger, harder, leaner. Stronger. Stronger. Episode one. Episode one. Harder. Bigger, leaner, stronger, episode one. Well, episode one, my fucking back is broke, okay? Because I'm not gonna lie to you, this is the most embarrassing thing I will ever admit. Ever admit on camera, ever. And you guys to me might be like, ha, ah, shut up, you fucking loser, that's heavy, blah blah blah. I went to go dead at 495, and I did it, it was easy, and I was like, but it didn't feel how it should have felt. And then like I did some more sets, some more back stuff. Two days later, today, my fucking back hurts. Like, not my, like, back sore. Like, my spine. Like, my collarbone spine. Like, the end of my shit. That never happens to me. Life was like, yo, bro, punch me in the fucking face. It was like, get your shit together. Otherwise, you're gonna be weaker, smaller, and lamer if, unless you stop being a bitch right now today. Bitch. Kev's back, too. Look, Kev. <laughs> It's honestly dope having Kev back, for real. I'm, I'm, I'm Jacob's assistant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he. No, but tell him why you're back, actually. This is episode one of bigger, bigger, leaner, stronger, everything better. What, what advice do you give them in life? Because you've been through some shit lately. Man, how old are you? 31. Yeah, you're an old man now. Bro. Oh. Yeah. What, what advice do you have to give them? Because this is like, my back's broke right now. Like, I can't really give much training. But a preface to what's going to happen, telling the story. Because I just decided, I was like, look, I'm done being a pussy. I've been focusing on the gym, opening the gym. But now it's out of my mind. I can't keep lingering like this, like, lame assness. And I have to be like, all right, I, I've got that good. Let me focus on this other shit. Well, because before the business, you were all you did was wake up and train. Yeah. And then it's a little bit less wake up and train, a little bit more business, and then a little bit less wake up and train, and then way more yeah. business, and then all business, and you're like, damn, like, I didn't even work out. Yeah, that's been happening. Yeah. And I'm done and with that you're like, shit. oh, I'm, let, me, let me get this workout in, it's like a 30 minute kind of bullshit workout. Yes. Good thing you have muscle maturity. Yeah. No, but seriously, you've like, got mass from like, back in the day, and like, you've kept it, like, a yeah. good amount of it in your strength, so. But in words of advice, I think the biggest thing is like, passion like having passion for the stuff in your life. You're like your routines, the people in your life, what you're doing, your job, your career. Passion is what makes you get up every day without having an alarm clock. Passion is what makes you want to like hang out with the people in your life and talk about like certain things and grow certain things because you both have like, there's no measure of passion. You can't measure like this is, you can measure money, you can measure other things, you can measure you know time in the day, but like passion is something that like, you can't measure. There's no tangible thing you could mark it as. So having passion for whatever it is, and if you don't have it, take time to find out and research it like meet new people travel try new restaurants read new books watch new YouTube videos 
listen to different podcasts. Like see what you're gonna be passionate about because that passion is gonna drive you to like heights that you have never even reached. Because Brad's passionate about business and gym. That's why he has his own gym now. That's why he has everything that's going on. It's because of passion. Because like you love it. Yeah. If you didn't love it, you wouldn't do it. Yeah, no. There's the stuff you don't love, you don't do. You gotta love something. And if you don't, if you don't know, it's fine. It's okay, but take time to find out. It's interesting because there's definitely something to say about that entirely. And then also like as you go along the journey, you kind of like get caught up in certain things. You kind of get pulled away from the things that like maybe you're originally passionate about. They kind of like shift and change and you got to kind of refocus. And I think that's something that a lot of people don't really talk about because it's one thing to say passion's important and this is important. It is for sure. But it's also trying to understand where you're at. Like it, today is not going to be where you were when you started, not where you were six months ago. You may have to like reevaluate where you're at and like your goals, etc. I think that's when it comes down to passion to having it is so important then also resetting like your goals in relationship to it because like for me if I just show up and I'm like oh, I'm just gonna keep working out because I always work out at some point like it may start to feel like kind of just like I'm in a cycle if I go okay I'm gonna now focus on getting bigker stronger and and more jacked at the same time, that's like, okay, what do I need to do to do that specifically? If I really want to get that done. First, if I just want to get leaner, if I just want to get bigger, if I if I wanted to open up 10 more gyms, like the, the concept's the same. Like you gotta reevaluate where you're at, what is like really speaking to you in your heart right now, and focus and listen to that. So for me, like I said, I did so much gym stuff, I'm like, all right, I'm ready to not focus on gym shit. Bigger stronger leaner, let's fucking go. My back is broke today. BSL. Or bitches. Bitches. Sex and Lingerie. Lingerie, why do I think of the same shit? Yo, that's my dog.